Exodus chapter 8 verse 1 says, The Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go that they may serve me. Praise the Lord. Today we are discussing serving in the kingdom of God. How to serve. Why do you serve? And service precedes attracting any form of anointing. Praise the Lord. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, I am Christine Kamsime Tudiambona. Some call me CK, others call me CKT, whichever is easier for you. I am well pleased and glad to have you here. And on this channel, I share most of the things Christians have not got a chance to ask in an ordinary church service as the sermon is being preached. So if you have any topic that you would need us to discuss here, feel free to comment in the section below and we shall have our hands on it. My goal through this channel is to break down big concepts in Christianity in simple terms for everyone to apply them so that they are able to see the result, to see the promises of God as they are promised in the Bible. Praise the Lord. With no further ado, let's get right in. As Exodus has put it, once you have come into the kingdom of God through accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, next thing is to pray for guidance from God to show you where you can serve. Serving God in any area of ministry is a form of worship. However, what is seen to, in today's church, most Christians instead, they want to be served. For example, most people want to come to church and find everything set up and ready for them to enjoy the comfort, which is not a bad thing at all. But just and just to explain what I'm what I'm sharing today in today's topic of serving God, let me use this example. Sometimes someone comes to church and finds the chair not clean and take offense, by the way. Within questioning, why did they not clean the seats? But the question you should be asking is, have I participated in any of the church arrangements? And friends, get me here. I am not saying that the seats should be dirty, no. But I am saying that you could even have actually prayed to God that he should anoint you so that you may minister in the kingdom of God, you know. As you comment on how they didn't arrange well, how the washrooms are not well maintained, have you participated in any of these services? To know what it takes to serve before you pray that God should uh, show you your calling or before you are saying I tap in the anointing of the man of God that is on that pulpit you must firstly serve that very ministry you cannot attract an anointing before you learn how to serve that very anointing. You can never attract what you have not served. Praise the Lord. That is a principle. Be diligent in your service and God will elevate you into the very anointing you are serving, in the very anointing you are called into. Even those men and women of God you admire to be like them, they started by serving in humble beginnings and they were uplifted in their service and up to now they are still serving in one way or another. And here is a clue and here is the catch. Study any man in high ranking. If you find that they are not serving and now wanting to be more served, give it time. They may not sustain the glory upon their life, as sad as it may sound. If you want to know more 
about service it is important to watch my videos about submission click the link showing right now on your screen and another one is about spiritual fathers and spiritual sons relationships praise the lord all right guys stay blessed continue giving me those likes about my video share hit the notification uh, subscribe guys those who have subscribed i can't thank you enough but i appreciate thank you thank you so so much uh, and most importantly if you do that youtube automatically leaves such good content on your such a both so that the new viewers can easily access them and by that you are participating in this very gospel extending it to the ends of the earth i love you guys see you in my next video bye bye